This is Deductor, continuing the Red Company playthrough. I've decided after the Goblin City to basically record the uh, some more videos, but I'm not going to comment um, the ones that I don't find interesting. So, fortunately, pretty quickly after the Goblin City, we do find an interesting fight. A bunch of strats in a forest. Um, even though they're trees, and you would think fighting them in a forest is bad, turns out I actually think the forest is one of the more favorable places to engage them. In any event, I've equipped our guys with um, uh, as uh, with lots of axes. We're going to go in. We're going to slaughter these rats. It's going to be very good. Um, I actually really, really want to fight these because I want to make some more of the light padding which I think is a really good attachment. So, let us get to it. Eight shrats, I don't think it's considered easy. They actually think they have the advantage. They attacked me. <laughs> that is kind of funny. All right, so, let's see what they do. It's a bit of a clearing here. You can see the forest is not actually all that advantageous for them. They tend to get themselves bogged down. I can't remember if they can shoot through like the brushes. I'm going to assume they can. I'm going to put the tanks like here. One other thing I could do is just put a single tank here and like just tank infinitely and then uh, I think it's better if I put a single tank here because this seems like a kill zone to me I actually don't really think I want to move anyone maybe move you up Move you over. Right. This character should be quite sturdy. Move you up. Eh. You know what? Oh, I could put a single character here and tank basically infinite. That would be interesting. Um, I'm just thinking about where to position. You know what? Let's, um, I'm actually going to pass on everyone. I'm going to see what they do next. Well, what if they can do that? Mm, never mind. All right. All right, we see everything on the board. Ah. This is assuming they can't hit through the brush. This is actually pretty good. Alright, I have a new cunning plan here. We are gonna fight them here. My plan is so cunning. They'll never see it coming. You have 72, yep. Uh, what am I going to do with you? Hold.
This guy can't move and attack. Ooh, right. Can they... Mm. You have a long... No, you don't have a long axe. So you're going to move here. Give everybody the buff. We got our guys who can fight there. I can't remember if they can attack through the trees. Ooh, we can test this theory. I have an idea now. Let's test it with someone who can... Your defense is going to be... 70. That seems pretty good. Let's put you here. Let's see if they can attack. I'm very curious. And... I come here. I can come here. And I want to sit here. Well, then this guy attacks like that. This guy attacks like that. They don't move up. Kind of want them to move up. All right. So I can indomitable or I can split shield. Seems to me that indomitable is a little better here. Because I can swap you to the long axe and attack. Okay. If I go here, I am assuming they can't do that. So I'm going to put myself here. This should be 100% safe. So here, assuming they can attack through the trees, I'm actually still safe. Gave you a long axe. There we go. Beautiful. Not sure what I do with you. I'm going to keep you in reserve for now. Yes, pass your turn. I, I don't know if they can attack through the forest. I'm positioning myself as if they... It looks like they may not be able to, because otherwise I think that guy would have gone for that character. Okie doke. I really want you over here. But Sigmar can hit and then do... Rotation. I don't think I need two tanks up front. Lightning sword so strong. Do I bring the hammer guy up or the lightning sword character? I think I bring the lightning sword character up. Uh, really want to maximize that damage. That, I think we're pretty good here. A lot of them are offing the forest over there. There's not one here, so he can't move up and, like, surprise attack me. This guy's not staggered, so we're going to wait. This guy, on the other hand, is staggered, so let's move up. Should be able to get the drop on him next turn. He's 
these little saplings are completely irrelevant. Oh, I'm actually pretty fast. Yep. Just in uh, case they have some sort of shenanigan. So off to the shield. Never know what sort of shenanigans these things have. Uh, I don't want him to come up and like that. What are they rolling on? 9%. Hmm. That's higher than I would honestly like. I don't mind spawning the little guys. The little guys are pretty relevant. Oh, I should have used a f mushroom. Eh. There's gonna be plenty of chances to use mushrooms this fight. One down. Little guy's probably gonna come in. I don't need a potion. He could do that. I'll be okay. I could take hits. Keep some characters in reserve. We're gonna move. I actually think he's not going to attack. What's my defense? Only is better indomitable. Yes, do that, little buddy. Ooh, interesting. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. This position is super threatened right now. I have to think about I didn't think there would be three of them down there. I still have like absurd defense. 70 defense. Even if all three of them attack me, your odds of killing me are pretty low. If I hit this, it's going to spawn a guy. So let's wait. Now I get you in position here. If I release a puppy, he's going to go here. It could distract them for a little bit. Uh, in theory, if they triple hit here, they could kill me. Would be a shame, but the odds are so very low. If I release a puppy, the puppy's gonna go here. Hopefully drawing two attacks, but it could make these guys confident, which would bust them. It's not clear. Like here, the right move is not, in my opinion, obvious. I need to somehow rotate you out. I think I should be able to handle that. Yeah, well, your defense is 72. This guy's defense is 70. They're basically the same. I might recover with you. 
Let's move you down here. I might need to do some rotations. You're fine. I don't think we need to waste any um, stamina. Could theoretically use a rotation, maybe? All right, now hit. Ooh, look at that damage. How much damage was that? 150 damage. The buffs, so good. I think I'm actually gonna recover here. can't believe I didn't see that move. Ah, oh, how could I have not... I should have released the dog. Ah, oh, these strats, they surprised me. Damn, that was a good move, leg. Uh, whoops. Okay, I was a little overconfident. Definitely a misplay to not release the dog. For some reason, I thought this one was locked in. That was just very poor positioning on my part. Well, that one's coming up. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Who has the hawk? Ooh, I'm gonna need to do some maneuvers there. Yeah, I think we're gonna want... Smash hand is not bad. Oh, you took a hit? How come you... Your damage is so much less. Bruise mm. leg, I don't think is a big deal. <sighs> My feeling is I just need to maximize damage and go ham. But before I do that, well, let's, I want to see something. Okay, so the lightning, uh, the shield protects them against the lightning. That's what I wanted to know. I did not know that. Just need to go ham here. This one's staggered. This position is safe. Bruised leg, I think, increases movement penalty to four. That's fine. Oh, wait. I didn't see that. Ah. Little guy. Okay. 19%. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, making all sorts of mistakes in this battle. But I'm getting bailed out of my own stupidity. Oh. Somehow I missed. If I go here, this makes this guy attack through like that. Hopefully, instead of going for my more vulnerable character. I actually would rather have that.
What are they doing? Beautiful. Yep. Ugh. Nasty hit. It was a question of whether unequipping the shield was worth it. I thought it was. We just need more damage. Okay. Hmm. This is very tricky. I need to put a character here. One, two. How many shrouds did I kill? I killed three out of the five. So we know there's one up there, one up there, two over here. There's one like running amok in the forest. Um, none of them can reach me. Let us see what is going on here. One, two. Hmm, there's eight enemies on the field. One, two, three little guys. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure there's another big shrat somewhere. Not quite sure where. A little tricky. Bruise leg is minus initiative. Ugh. I think I just have to stay put. Uh, let's let... He might just stay there and spam me. I don't want that. Vigilant. Yeah, I can't go there. I could go here because this guy's staggered, so I can hit him next turn. Um You are not in great shape. And you're actually kind of a valuable character. Kinda care about your life. See what that one does. Oh, I feel like this one's the harder one to kill, but it's better to just like focus fire. I don't care about this little guy. Thank you, Bone Armor. I'm staggered too, so I'm gonna swap to the shield. Ah, there's no position where I can be safe, unfortunately.
Yes. Okay, this position down here is definitely very tricky. Hmm. I don't want him attacking that way. So I'm going to do something a little unorthodox. Oh, there are two of them up there. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Whoa, I was honestly expecting that to hit. That's a 95% miss. Good stuff. A little afraid of that. They keep hitting my tank. Huh. Which is very disconcerting. Actually, thinking I need to recover here. Could lose that flagellant, but I don't care. Ugh, the odds are so bad. Um, I'll keep you here in the middle in reserve because I'm not quite sure what to do with you yet. Woo! 72% miss? Yep, good old indomitable. Work. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Everything is on the field. Hold. Alrighty. Whew, this is very interesting. We need to kill this rat as fast as possible. The reason being, right now, I can't go here or here. With this guy, I risk him dying. Is not well, actually, this position is perfectly safe. I have to move you 
I'm gonna still keep you here as a reserve unit. This position is actually 100% safe. And moving next turn. Um, too nervous to stay down here. This position is 100% safe. Yep. Yes, attack my nimble tank. Or my super cell sword. You can attack him as much as you want, little buddy. Let's uh, get rid of your shield. That way, they have a chance to pass their turn and not attack. Ah, huh, interesting. Dominable coming use here. on 5%. That's what I love to see. If I attack this, it's going to spawn a little little guy. Not 100% sure I actually want to spawn a little guy right now. I'll be fine, I have Nimble. This rat's dying. Hmm. Getting hit a little bit, I'm not super worried about. Let's see. Okay, here is the good news. You're using Indomitable. I do want to get you up to start attacking. I move you here. He's gonna, like, I would much rather him attack like this. If I move him here, he's gonna attack that way. Could suffer another injury. Much rather them attacking to the Indomitable character. But you probably need to recover. Hmm. What's your defense? 50? Seems a little low. So, they probably have a 20% chance of hitting you. Eh. I think the sooner we finish the fight, the better. Doing. Hmm, this is kind of interesting how to position here. If I hit, he's gonna spawn a little guy. Potentially here or here. Like any of the places he spawns a little guy is not great. I am actually going to pass my turn here, even though I have another attack. Okay, that works for me. Yes, attack my super tank. Or my super cell sword. Yes, that's fine. Didn't do anything. I want to see where the little guy spawns.
Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. afraid of something like that still I think we need to prioritize ah turn done turn done you have berserk killing frenzy right eh. I feel like the right move here is recover probably gonna take a hit here Sixty three, eighty one. Yes, do that. Ow. Eh, that character doesn't matter. Yes, it's tickled me. Gotta take care of some of these little guys. If I hit him, he spawns another little guy. I don't like that. He's probably gonna attack the bannerman. Not sure what I do. We wait. Ooh, look at that damage. Ah, he remakes his shield. Interesting. That was not a kill somehow? I have Killing Frenzy. Wow. Would not have expected that. One turn. I don't think I actually kill him. Plus, I need the uh, fatigue to go like that shrat anyway. So... Nice. Nice. <laughs> We've got morale problems. That one's dealt with.
can't attack. Okay, so I have to recover here. Mm, if I attack... It spawns Luga. I don't like that. I want to see what it does. Because I have a cunning plan to deal with it. Oh, it regenerates its shield. I'm actually gonna equip my shield. I want to do less damage so it doesn't spawn a little. God damn it! I didn't think it would spawn a little guy. But apparently the lightning sword is just that good. Might as well hit it even through the shield. Two characters who don't do enough damage to spawn the little guys deal with that. If I move up, hit, and it doesn't work, it's gonna be real bad. Oh, wait, no, this character gets in it. Never mind, we're good. Punch! Ah! Oh. I really wanted to punch a tree to death, but no such luck. All right. Uh, not the cleanest fight. We did take a lot of damage, more than I thought we would, to be honest. Um, but we are almost certainly going to get some good crafting materials out of this. So I am pretty happy with the result. No one died. No one honestly even came close to dying. A few minor injuries. That don't matter. Some armor that was dented. If my characters were even better. They shouldn't even take the armor damage. Or they'll take a minimal amount of armor damage, I should say. I think it's difficult to come out of a fight with eight shots taking no damage. That would be uh, difficult. But um, doing this without taking wounds is definitely possible. Like, I wouldn't even consider it that, um, that difficult to do. Yay, look at all this great loot. Um, not the ancient wood, I find that pretty garbage. But the Heart of the Forest and the Glowing Risen are all very good. Um, although, you know, this may be garbage, but it's still better than some of my other gear. I don't need this many clubs. There we go. Alright, so eight shrats. Interesting fight. I want to see... It take a lot of armor damage, but how many wounds did I actually take? One, two, three. So one of these wounds, the smash hand, is irrelevant on a tank. Doesn't matter. Don't really care. Bruised leg certainly sucks. Oh no, I took four wounds. But this character, I don't care about. So, yeah, four wounds, but only three that I even care about. Uh, bruised leg definitely sucks. This one's not great. Smash hand is very nasty. I like, if this was on DPS character, he'd be unusable, but tank characters are still good. Um, it does mean, with these injuries, I probably, uh, and plus I have other injuries, probably means I can't go about um, massacring 30 orcs in the next fight. But also, if I run into eight more strats, probably going to pass on that. Not even mostly because of the injuries, but because, like, 
Hit points being low, it's kind of risky. So I can't do like two back to back trap fights like that. Most of my reserves are out. If I had more reserves, I could do it, but you can see it wasn't that challenging. Um, like at no point, there was maybe one point where I could have potentially even had any sort of risk to uh, this character specifically when one of them, like AI did a good move. Like I didn't see the move it made when it lined up and like did a triple attack because I just didn't see it. It was right in front of me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.